I am Jim W6LG, your Ham Radio Elmer here on YouTube. Welcome to my radio room in Rockland, California. Every once in a while, we buy something that we really like, and that's an example of one thing that I purchased about a year ago. My buddy uh, Tim WA2R alerted me to the fact that these were on sale, and I bought one. Now, this happens to be the least expensive version of the Zoom products, but still it has enough features to make it a valuable tool in the radio room. The black cap on top is a uh, is a short. I keep the input to it shorted uh, when it's not in use, and I don't leave it connected to an antenna overnight. I'm very careful of the input on this device. Let me uh, switch over to the screen, and we're going to go through some of the features using my Yagi antenna, which is basically a dipole. So uh, I'll switch over to the screenshot of this uh, this device. Okay, using a jumper, I've connected the uh, AA35, which has a frequency range of, uh, I think it's 2 to 35 megahertz. And I want to go through and run some tests. And there's a lesson in these tests with respect to SWR. Uh, so stick with me till we get to a couple of the tests. So I've got a screenshot. That's the basic uh, screenshot. I'm going to switch over to the um, SWR function when I find my glasses. So I'm going to say OK to SWR. And I'm going to set um, the parameters for um, basically 20 meters, uh, 14 megahertz to 14,350. Okay, here's what it's telling us. Um, the minimum SWR was 1.2 to 1 at 14,181. Now, you might say that, uh, now I'm on 14,174, but it's saying the minimum SWR is just a little bit higher at 14,181. You might be inclined to say that that's the resonant frequency. Well, let's find out. Okay, so I'm going to pick the um, reactance chart. So it's going to tell me the resistance and the reactance. So I'm going to have it sweep and do that now. Okay, now it's telling us something very different, saying resonance occurs at 14205. The minimum SWR was at four, was at 14181. And it's telling us here what the impedance is and the uh, and a little bit of reactance. Now let's bring up a different screen. So we're going to close this. What it's saying is here's the resonant frequency. And the minimum SWR was down here. So what's going on? Why would the minimum SWR be in a different spot from the resonant frequency? How do we make sense of that? Okay, so I'm going to go to all parameters and um, let's see what that looks like. The resistance of the antenna at resonance and very little reactance was 64 ohms, return loss of about 18 dB. So, and the SWR there is 1.28. So the resonant frequency of the antenna is at 14.205. The minimum SWR was, I think, uh, 14.171 was it? Let's go back and take a look at that. So here's the um, um, minimum SWR is 1.22 to 1 at 14,185. So there's the minimum SWR. The resonant frequency of the antenna was for like 14,205. We learned that the resonant frequency and the minimum SWR do not necessarily coincide. In fact, it's been my experience that they almost never do. 
So when someone says the SWR is 1.1 to 1 and that's the resonant frequency, it very likely is not the case uh, when checking it with something like uh, my little friend here, the rig expert. This is the uh, AA35 that I was using. Let's take a look and see uh, what the current price is. Um, so I'm going to go to DX Engineering and bring that up. All right, that's my glasses on so I can see. That is the 3000, which is their their best model. Does all kinds of things. Oh, that's the 55. That's a really good price. So the 55 is $259, $100 off. Uh, all right. And there's a discount on that one. Oh, okay. So here's the one that I bought, and that is the 35. <clears throat> so it's on sale for 230 which is a really good price. I'll have to check um, another dealer here. So that's 230 and the 55 is 260 So I I would probably opt for the 260 Now let's let's check out um, Ham Radio Outlet, which is hamradio.com. Oh, it's also on sale. Huh. Okay, so that's uh, also 230 55. It's also, oh, out of stock. Oh. Well, um, DX Engineering has it in stock. If, um, if you're thinking about buying something like that or that particular model, this would be a good time. Uh, okay, so for the less expensive one that, that I have is 230 That's what I bought. I've been really happy with it. Uh, it has some other features, and I'm going to show that in the next video. Uh, in particular, my favorite thing is using it as a TDR and measuring feed line losses and uh, the length of the coax and some other things. So I'll do that in the next video. I'm Jim, W6LG, your YouTube Elmer. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please uh, do that. And I'll see you the next time. Thanks for watching. 73.